What's up guys? I want to talk about fit, specifically the details of the shoe that contribute to the fit across three different categories of shoemakers. I think it's important because a few of these details typically are only associated with the look of a higher end shoe and not often talked about in the framework of how do they impact the function or the fit of the shoe. I'll start with this pair of St. Crispin's, which is on the Riva Last. This is a pair that I did made to order and this has a minor last adjustment or modification on the instep and I'll touch on that in a second. This is a $1,600 hand welted boot, which is a little bit more when made in shell cordovan like this. Of course, the length, width, and toe shape are important, but generally speaking, these are all standard width, true to size, and have a round toe shape. The main details I'll focus on are the arch, instep, waist, and heel. I had this last modified with an additional three millimeters on the instep, which allows for enough room to remove the excessive pressure I get on the top of my foot without impacting the fit of the other areas of the shoe. You can see how the shape of the last and the boot supports my arch. One important aspect that makes this happen or makes this possible is the width of the waist. Most times when you hear someone talking about a narrow waist, it's typically with an aesthetic detail, but it's also one of the most important details which indicates the fit that you can expect from a shoe or a boot. Likewise, the heel is another important detail, much like the waist. It's typically only spoken about with regards to the aesthetic look of it, but this is also something that will really dictate how well the boot or the shoe will fit and how secure your heel will feel when wearing the shoe. Now looking at Carmina, which is on the forest last. This is about a $600 boot. I'll start with the shoe trees here. The Carmina tree is somewhat based on the forest last, which is their most standard fitting shape. You can clearly see the difference in the shape of these shoe trees. There's a much more significant arch built into the St. Crispin's, which we'll see translate into the boot here in a moment. I'll caution, I'm not speaking negatively about this range of shoes or boots at all, just pointing out the functional benefits of different levels of shoes. Here you can see this pair of Carmina boots fits really well. There's a reasonable amount of space between the eyelets and no excessive leather on any particular spot. Looking at the waist and instep and the heel, you can see each follows the shape of my foot and has a reasonable supportive look, but not as much or not as closely following the shape of my foot as that pair of St. Crispin's did. Maybe this different shape on the boot is gonna be better for some, it'll be worse for others, but it's an integral detail in understanding why a boot or why a shoe fits a particular way. I'll add this is a great fitting boot, which I really enjoy wearing. There's a difference between having the best possible fit and the perfect fit. Now on to the highest of high-end shoes when it comes to fit. These are Ichigo Ichie Remote Bespoke Loafers. This is a bespoke last which runs about $2,500. I completely realize these aren't boots. That's pretty obvious. But they're the best example of fit because it's a loafer allowing you to really see how my foot sits in the shoe. You can see this shape of the waist, the extended heel countering really supports my arch the best of the three pairs. You can also see how the heel is shaped to perfectly wrap around my heel, keeping it secure without putting any undue pressure on any of those parts. So at this point, you're probably all thinking like, what does this all mean? I get it, like we can't all afford bespoke shoes and I can't afford to only own bespoke shoes. So what is the point of this? A perfect fit or the correct fit is probably a moving target for all of us, including myself. The more we learn or understand about what contributes to the fit, the better we can achieve the best possible fit with the options that are available to us. Brands like Carmina, TLB, and Alden all offer many last which have different shapes, waist, insteps, and if you can gauge if you need a narrower waist or a wider one or a lower instep or a more generous one, 
you'll be able to determine which of those lasts from those makers will be the best suited for your foot. Hopefully this was helpful and between my attempt to explain it, combined with the context of the video, it will make sense. Let me know if you have any questions or thoughts on the topic. I'll always suggest when it comes to fit, the best way to figure it out is talking to the shoemaker, sharing as many personal experiences as you can, and deciding what the best route to go is together. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.